Hello everybody, welcome to Walking and Talking with Phoenix and today we're going to be talking about becoming addicted to people and the way they make us feel. So if anyone here has read the Celestine Prophecy then they'll know exactly what I'm talking about for it. that book goes into, a, goes into this subject quite extensively. But if you haven't read it, let me recapitulate, uh, capitulate, that's the one, uh, what the book says basically. And just based on my own my own understanding of it. So you're with somebody, right? You're with somebody that makes you feel alive, makes you feel special, makes you feel loved. And you know, you don't feel nearly as amazing and great when you are without this person, right? It's like when they're not there, you it's like you're only you've only got half your world and when they're with you you're complete kind of thing, you know? And then all of a sudden, they go away and they don't come back, whether it be because of a breakup, whether it be because of a horrible accident, or whatever. And suddenly you find yourself, in a sense, mourning, even if they haven't died and they've just moved to the other side of the world or broken up with you. You find yourself mourning and grieving, you find yourself feeling like, like you're dying sometimes, and that you've only got half a life left, half a world. And the other half is just gone. And it can make one feel really weak, you know, really sad and confused and hopeless about the future and where they're going. And this is the, the crux of all, the reason why all this is happening is because it's all too easy to become addicted to the way that other people make us feel and the energy they provide us. I mean, have you ever noticed that when you are with those people, people you love and hold dear, and they make you feel great, that you find your, your confidence, you find your clarity increasing, your sense of control, right? And then when you're without them, you know, maybe you, you start noticing you don't feel as confident, you don't have that same sense of clarity or control. The idea is that, you know, we all have our own energy from, from our own source, from our own center, right? And apparently, according to the Celestine Prophecy, and many other ideologies I've read on, this the source is infinite, how much energy you can get from inside yourself. It's infinite how much energy there is. And all of this can be used the same way that energy from other people can, but better because the energy you get from other people is limited. It's finite, and you become dependent on them for fixes. So the idea is if you can use your own energy and if you can channel your own you know, inspiration, your own confidence, clarity, control from inside because you're always connected to your source, you're always connected to your center and you never let anything compromise that, then you will never need to rely on anyone else. You can still enjoy someone else's energy and appreciate it while it's there and sure you can share your energy back with them and that's the idea that you're supposed to mutually share energy, not just take, take from one end and then when that person goes away, find yourself crying like a baby and I need more, I need my fix. So when we become involved in a relationship with other people, I think it's easy to switch over where we're getting our energy from. Instead of getting energy from ourselves, we start getting our energy from this other person. And we become addicted to that. Uh, I thought my bus is coming. So that's the basic idea, if you find yourself becoming too dependent on anybody, you know, all of a sudden you find yourself blocking off your ability to get your energy from the inside, and you start becoming dependent just on that person to fulfill your needs, to, to give you the energy, which you will otherwise be lacking because you have switched off. So even when you're with someone and you're appreciating their energy and giving it back, you can still and you should still it's in everyone's best interest, uh, remain connected to that inner energy and your own source. You should never compromise that source of where you act from, where you feel from. You should never compromise who you are and being located in your center so that whenever you make any decisions or whenever you make any movements, that it's always stemming from from your own heart and from your own source and it's always going to be in your best interest. Some people that wind up in relationships and they start acting, behaving and talking and walking 
just to appease their partners and it's all about doing the best they can to make their partners happy and all of a sudden this switches over automatically the whole thing was getting energy from the inside because they're not even acting from the inside they're acting from outside so you start getting energy from outside and whoever it is or whatever it is that you're uh, displacing yourself for and that's the basic idea folks uh, Celestine Prophecy is actually a really good book it's a fictional book about this guy that goes on a journey after he hears about a manuscript and in some other part of the world and this manuscript contains like 10 insights and each insight like you know gives some real deep spiritual philosophy or something and uh, that's just one of the insights that is revealed is that you know everybody sends out energy when they appreciate something and people can feel that energy and they become addicted to that energy but if you can get into the art of not relying on it and just placing yourself for it then you can still take the energy you can still grow and become more enhanced in many ways as a result as well as being able to provide the energy back in return and then it becomes re reciprocally higher like the energy that you feel with your partner just keeps increasing and it can increase to a phenomenal at a phenomenal rate and to, to a phenomenal level because there's no dead ends when both people are acting from their source and they're bouncing back this energy and building it up it can truly reach the skies thanks for watching people at home and yeah don't become addicted to anybody or anything if you can help it